Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to show you how you can use Rclone, a free open source software, to mount OneDrive in Windows as a drive or in a folder. So you basically do not need the official OneDrive client to access files in OneDrive. Rclone also works with different cloud services like Google Drive and Cfile and a lot of other cloud services. We will have a look to that in a moment. Everything I describe here in this video is also available in this blog post. Just click the link below in the video description. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's start with the download. Uh, the download is available here via this link here on this link brings you to the download section here on rclone.org. And as you can see, uh, rclone is available for all major operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and different BSD versions. So it's a nice little software to access your cloud service, even if uh, the cloud service provider does not provide a native client for your operating system. So Rclone is also a nice method to access OneDrive, for example, on Linux. In our case, we want to use the software here for Windows. And as you can see, there are different versions available here. Just download the correct version for your Windows system. In my case, it's a 64-bit version, which I have already downloaded. And is this is just a zip file. So just extract the file to a folder. And here we are. In the folder, we find the rclone.exe file which we now gonna use. Rclone is a command line tool. So uh, if you just double click it, uh, well then this will give us a message that we have to run this tool from the command line. In order to do that, we just type in CMD into the address bar here, and this will open a Windows terminal in the correct folder here. If I type in dir here, we can see here's our Rclone file or executable. First, we need to create a config. We will do that by typing in rclone space config. And this brings us uh, to the configuration uh, menu of rclone. So it's a text menu. Uh, it's a command line tool, but it has a nice text menu to set everything up. In our case here, we want to set up a new remote. So we type in N and now we can enter a name for the remote. In our case, we will just name it OneDrive. It's just a label so you can enter anything you want. Hit enter. And now we have to define our cloud service which we want to configure. And as you can see, there are a lot of cloud services in here which you can use with Rclone. So for example, you find Dropbox here, FTP, Google Drive, HTTP, High Drive, and all types of cloud services which can be used with the software. In our case here, we want to use OneDrive. So uh, 31 is the correct number we want to enter here to, uh, well, to set up OneDrive. And the first thing we are going to be asked is a client ID. And luckily for us, we can just hit enter here. So we don't need to provide a client ID and we don't have to provide a client secret here as well. So we can just hit enter here. The next uh, question is about the region of the cloud. Um, in general, it's just one here for Microsoft Cloud Global. Enter one, hit enter. Advanced config and also luckily for us, we don't have to do the advanced config. So we just can type in N for no. And now we have to uh, authenticate our clone with OneDrive. And so if we hit yes here, this will open up a browser and log in in our OneDrive. Um, as you can see, I've already have been logged in into OneDrive. So it just displays the success message here. Um, it might also be possible that you have to log in first, enter your uh, Microsoft ID and password to authenticate with Rclone. Once we have done that, the next step is to define uh, the type of connection. This is also very easy. We just have to select one here again, OneDrive personal or business, hit enter. And this brings up another one, uh, the, the drive ID here, which will display only one option. So we use this option here, one again, 
And um, now we are being asked, okay, we have found a drive. Is this okay? Yes, that's okay. And now we have some uh, more identification here. The drive ID, person ID, is everything okay? So we just type in yes again. And now we have configured OneDrive here. And you can see in the current remotes section here of the tool, you can see OneDrive. That's the name we have entered and the type OneDrive. So we have configured OneDrive in our clone. Now we can quit the config menu. We are back to our command line and now we want to mount the newly created configuration OneDrive in Windows. Here in my blog post, I have written down uh, some examples how we can now mount our OneDrive config in Windows. We have two options here. The one is uh, first one is to we can mount it to a drive letter. We have two options here. The first one, uh, if you enter this command here, I recommend just copy the command and uh, put it in the command line. As the first command here with the star, where well, this basically mounts to the next available drive letter. So let's just copy this one over to our command line here. I paste it in here. Air clone, then the cache mode option mount OneDrive. That's the name we just entered here. This is our name. And star means, okay, get me the next free available drive letter. Hit enter. And now we get the message assigning drive letter Y. And if we have a look to our explorer here, we can now see that OneDrive is here available in in, in the explorer under this drive letter. And we can now access our OneDrive here. If you want to terminate the connection, we just uh, hit control C here in the command line and this will finish the command and our drive then will be unmounted. You can also mount to a specific drive, just enter the drive letter here instead of the star. This will then mount OneDrive to the X letter if it's available. And the next option is if you just do not want to use a drive letter, you can also mount it to a folder if you enter the folder name here instead of the drive letter. And so it's very easy to set up uh, or mount OneDrive here in Windows without the client with our clone. And uh, if you like, you can put this command here into a batch file and put it into your auto start. Uh, of your system so that the drive uh, will be mounted every time you log in into your system. And that's a very handy method to mount different cloud services on your computer without having using um, yeah available space on your hard disk. Everything is online. So if, uh, I, if I've mounted OneDrive here on this drive letter, it will be available uh, as a drive here and it does not take up space here on my local drive. So no synchronization is done here. And okay, the downside of that is uh, if I'm offline, I cannot access my drive, of course. So, well, that's it. Goodbye.